Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You need to relax, Michael. No, Michael. Much better, Michael. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome, welcome. If you are new to this channel and you know where is Welcome Rotonda, do let me know. Okay. <laughs> I think it's going to Munoz or something like that. I've never been to Munoz. Is it still the same? I like how every time I say, is it still the same? Like I've been there. Okay. Anyhow, welcome to my channel. How are you? I do uh, tarot together with Sidereal Astrology, but it's not available right now because I can't see it through here. So I can't see, I can't show it to you guys okay so now we're just gonna use first the tarot so let's begin over here how are the sagis how does it feel to be a sag right now okay asking for a friend <laughs> asking for a friend let's begin okay do check out everything in the description box below you want to get your chart you want to get the best okay metaphysical shop okay one stop metaphysical shop is there go get it darling go get it mm -hmm. Sign up to our newsletter also. Hmm. There's free horoscopes. Ace of Cups, love is in the air. Okay, of course love is going to be in the air. Okay, will you be able to turn this into something good? Gemini was able to turn this into good in Pisces. And this is a card that is not that nice. Okay, when I say nice, it shows us the dark realms. Okay. With Ace of Cups, lovely, right? Venus is going to go to Sagittarius. Love it. Okay, pretty soon. Um, but it's gonna go to its Gandanta, which is a karmic knot that's being separated. So if you still try to hold on to someone, okay, I don't know why I'm doing this, but then it's gonna be causing you some strain. Okay, the karmic knot. So people who are supposed to be meant to be together will stay together. But people who are not, because, you know, the planets are not... Uh, blessing you anymore it's called graha it gives us it grabs to us karma mm -hmm. gives us that karma okay um then you know if it's done it's done new love comes in if it's not done then there's still love here uh, if you pay attention how closely i feel like this is you you're gonna fall in love okay it's an aspect of course um to your seventh house okay because venus is in the first house then it's gonna aspect the seventh Oh, okay. Now, I see that this is not the person. Mm -hmm. This is you arguing to yourself. So you're having what we call uh, internalization. Um, you are telling yourself you will never fall in love. You will never fall in love. You will never fall in love. And then you fall in love. <laughs> what do you get when you fall in love? Because the people who doesn't want it gets it. That is facts of life. It is. A lot of people are famous, successful with all these things. They always say it's like, well, I really didn't see it coming. It's just like I was just doing my thing and I didn't even want to be this. I didn't want to be that. The people who doesn't want it gets it. The people who wants it never really gets it. Hmm. Uh, facts of life. People who doesn't want to have a baby all of a sudden gets pregnant. People has been trying. Okay. And then still never. Hmm. There's something about what we want, we don't get. We only get what we deserve. So here it's showing that you are going to be attracting someone. Mm -hmm. But you cannot reverse it. Like, oh, I'm going to stay away from relationships. So relationship comes to me. doesn't work that way. Okay. Faster than you can say Rambo. I don't know what Rambo is. Oh. <laughs> I know it's a movie. Okay. But Knight of Swords over here shows that someone is going to come to you very fast, very soon. Of course, it will not hit you right now. You will have to come back to this reading probably in a month when this person surfaces. Venus is going to go retrograde in Sidereal Sagittarius, which only means that relationship karma is strong. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, it would be a little bit difficult for you because you will be very busy also with your career. I can see that. Not here, but I can see through the planets. Ace of Wands, the baby maker. The baby maker. Are you a baby maker? 
<laughs> Asking for a friend. Ace of Wands over here, passion, connection, happening fast and soon. You're refusing to fall in love, Sag. You have this idea that I don't want to hear about love anymore. I don't want to hear anything about relationship. And I am just done dating the same person. Well, why do you date the same person anyway? <laughs> Uh, with the Ace of Wands here, new connection is giving birth. If you see that. You see that? New person. Mm -hmm. Younger can be air sign, which means, you know, natural seventh house race, Gemini. Mm -hmm. You probably try to understand, you are probably always getting attracted to younger or younger gets attracted to you. Because Mercury is the young prince. So if you have Sag in your chart, which is either your ascendant or moon sign, when we say that in your chart, you can, we all have Sag in a chart, but it has to be strong, meaning ascendant and moon. Get you sun in, uh, in, in, uh, in sidereal, meaning you can use sun, but not for pairing like that. Um, then you get attracted to this uh, kind of connection. Okay, so you're bringing in this connection. Younger can be. Coming to you very, very passionate, very, very passionate. Mm -hmm. Eight of Swords, the least you expect. This is my card of surprise. Dun, 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 dun. You're just sleeping over here, overthinking your life, thinking that you will never be with someone, and then you're there. All right, that's the Eight of Swords. You have the Hangman over here. You feel like relationship is dead end. You feel like any kind of connection always lead to your demise and to the point where it's like it's your death. You feel like it's a hangman, like I would compromise my freedom. You know, I love myself. Give me the Ace of Cups here, self-love. Um, you love yourself so much that you don't want to be involved in anybody's uh, life anymore. With the hangman over here, look at the guillotine, it's called, right? So you get nervous every time you know that there is going to be a connection. So you're having cold sweats. Hopefully, the cold sweat is just a feeling and not that you have to go to the doctor. Okay, nobody's sick. But with the hangman over here, shows that the delay is over. The guillotine is here. Expect the unexpected. The worst nightmare of your life is to fall in love. And it is going to happen. Mm. The full card. Okay. Now, the full card, of course, is taking a leap of faith, taking a chance. Um, this is not you. Can be a second, uh, a second time around in love. Because Venus is going to go retrograde. With a full card in Knight of Swords, uh, this is a young traveler or always traveling. Mm -hmm. That's the fool. Um, no strings attached is what they are known for with the full card because they're about exploration. Um, but if there's no strings attached and you're no strings attached, the two of you will attach. People always the no, do the no strings attach, they become attached. People who are trying to attach, they become no strings. Do you understand now why you cannot get what you want? Mm -hmm. Yes. So normally they catch feelings, right? And the people's like, oh, I thought we have feelings. Um, actually, uh, you know, no strings attached here. Exactly. So we always get the opposite. Mm. Nine of Swords. <laughs> Scorpio got this. You may have a Scorpio. Energy. So Nine of Swords, you feel it, you know it. It's coming. There is love coming towards you. Nine of Swords with the Ace of Cups. And for you, I feel like you're stressed because either you're coming into a new connection, Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands, but you also feel that there is someone that you have blocked or pushed back in your life, so it will interfere. You will have an opportunity with an ex and an opportunity with a new person. That's what I can see. Link down there in the description box below for the extended. Thank you very much, Sagittarius, um, for spending time with me. Do check out eatreadlove.me, the only shop that caters okay, to the wonderful mystics okay, that is in Los Angeles and it has its own store. We are not just an online store. We have our store. It's coming back to open because we were renovating. We just finished renovating and then we did another one because it's we're just growing and expanding. So check it check us out. It's coming November in Los Angeles and make sure you say hi. You know, if I'm there. Okay, but I'll be there. I'll see you guys again. Bye.